Welcome back comrades, this is Gaming with Austin, and today we're going towards episode 114 of Utopian Community Series. Let's get this fight up. Why don't we? Let's get this game fired up. Why don't we? Mm -hmm. I gotta change how the vault. So I could hear it. What I'm gonna do first... The tyrant survives, run on fire. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the history of racism. Racism comes in many forms. Slavery in the South is one of those types of racism. Stereotyping people because of their, their ethnic origin is another form of racism. Which I would call tribal affiliation. Because, you know, we are all human no matter what. Stereotyping can be a form of racism. But if you stereotype your own tribal group, you're okay to... Black people often get away with using the N-word. White people, if they called a black person the N-word, they'd either get shot or get arrested. <coughs> if they called a black police officer the N-word, they would get arrested. throwing a racial slur at a police off um, for throwing a, an ethnic slur at a police officer Enslaving people of different uh, tribal origins is a form of racism. We learned that from our distant past when we just colonized America. Some of the slaves were our own kind. Wage slavery is between being a slave and working for a living.
When you're in fascism, you work for the greater good of the ruler. In communism, you work for the greater good of everybody. Not all communists are evil. Like, people stereotyped communists as being evil in the Cold War. Truth is, not all communists are evil. I myself personally am one. I'm a nice person. Wouldn't just liberate corrupt countries from the suffering that the people have to go. Sadly, the people have to go through. I want, to, I want free health care for all. If I was in, to endorse. A Democrat for president, I'd rather endorse Bernie Sanders. I'd rather endorse Bernie Sanders. He's an ass fella. He's a pretty nice fella. I'd like for corporations like Walmart to stop paying their workers poverty wages. Because the truth is, before the late 70s, wages and productivity have increased side by side. But now wages are stagnating while our productivity is increasing. When talking about the Fourth Reich government in my uh, story, they'd keep people from giving to the poor, whether it be domestically or international aid. They were the reason they're not going to provide. Um, they'd invade countries that provide national aid to countries that are suffering because providing. International aid would be something related to socialism, and they'd be anti-socialist. Not only that, they'd be really racist, which would... Like, they'd use their racism to corrupt African governments, along with Asian governments. To keep the people starving. They'd overthrow African governments and bring in a fascist order, uh, the Fourth Reich. Well, they do to the African natives over there. They'd enslave them like we fellow who Americans did back in the early days of America. Slavery must stop, at all costs. At all costs, slavery must stop. And then the fascist country, the under, uh, ethnic minorities, the, those who are not fully Germanic, I'm not trying to be racist or anything. 
but those who are not fully Germanic, like those of Celtic descent, like Irish, Welsh, Scotsman, stuff like that. Those who are higher up in the hierarchy, oftentimes they'd be used as slaves. But those in the lower part of the hierarchy, the hierarchy would loosely be based on North Korea's Songdan, which is an ascribed social ranking system. Choisin Songdan is the name of it. Choisin Songban is the name of it. One method of execution um, of ethnic cleansing would they do would be some of it would be slaver uh, related to slavery. Like they want slaves. Like with the slaves, they'd be genetically modified. Like, not only would there be an ethnic hierarchy in the totalitarian country, but a political, social, economic hierarchy. Like, they'd see the rich as really superior. Like, in the fascist country, like the requirement to take part in politics is... I don't want to be right. Uh, I hate to say this. Those who want to join in the fascist country, they must be full-blood Germanic. So, being mostly or partially Germanic. What they define as Germanic is those of English descent who are full-blooded Englishmen like the prison or maybe quote, in order to take part in politics in a totalitarian country quote, I have to quote this so I wouldn't be racist because I want to insult you plus I'm partially out I'm not just part German, I'm also part Irish, too. I might offend myself, so I have to quote that. Um, so I said, quote, like, they must be fully Germanic, meaning no Celtic ancestry whatsoever. Another requirement is they must be a male citizen. Germanic male citizen another factor is you must have is that you must have at least a million dollars like the equivalent of today's one million dollars It'd be a combination of ethnocracy. It's a rule of an ethnic group. It'd be the ethnocracy is a form of oligarchy. It'd be a combination of ethnocracy, patriarchy, and plutocracy. Along with aristocracy.
Aristocracy is the rule of the privileged class. Black colors would be red, white, and black. Like th their symbol would be a common. It'd be a, a swastika mixed with a hammer and sickle to represent both Nazism and national Bolshevism. Their ideology would be a combination of both Hitler or uh, Nazism, Stalinism. Like, in the totalitarian country, there'd be no female congressperson. On the concepts in their ideology... They believe in something called scientific racism. Also known as ethnic bi uh, ethnobiology. Which is the belief that different ethnic groups branched off into one, into each other. From the apes. Like, I had to like, quote, believing that, I hate to say this, they'd be extremely ethnocentric, like, in, in the totalitarian country, in order to take part in legislature, you must be a male Germanic citizen. Like, at birth. Like, how they define Germ Germanic? They, they're not, like, one of the things, they must be full-blooded Germanic descent, meaning of English, German, Dutch, Austrian, German descent, English descent, Austrian descent, Liechtensteiner descent, Luxembourgic descent. Danish descent, Swedish, and or Norwegian descent. Well, they do the Eastern Europeans, are like the Poles, the, like in the prison camps. That'd be where people would buy slaves. Where upperclassmen would buy slaves. Like... Just popping my knuckles, that's all. I myself personally am against slavery. I was once a racist jerk. Now I decide to start go full blown anti racism. To go full blown anti racist. Meaning, because I discovered that 
It doesn't matter your skin color, we are all human. And and the theory of scientific racism is bullshit. Because there are people out there who have mixed parents. With at least one of their parents being mixed. We'll help this brainwash the students into the ideology in the fascist and totalitarian country. Nazi propaganda would. My goal is to start bringing socialism to the south. Like, bring socialism all over America. Bring forth a classless, moneyless, stateless, and democratic society, which we rely on vouchers. Like, the Nazis want to create an empire. The Soviets want to create a confederation. A totalitarian confederation is more of an oligarchy, instead of true totalitarian. Instead of being a true autocratic government. It's more of an oligarchy. But my idea of achieving a communist society that involves global rev international revolution. And global confederation. One of the rules would be there'd be no gerrymandering. One of the proper etiquette, no gerrymandering. Because that makes our elections not so fair. Gerrymandering should be abolished. Placed with direct democracy. One of the end goals would be world peace. One of the concepts in my branch of communism is world peace. I know, I know some people might get pissed off because of my ideology, but you, the good news is that YouTube only targets people on the far right. Like Eva Lyon. And 
by the way, Evelyn, like, when she had a YouTube account, she was a really racist jerk. She was also a Holocaust denier. Like, it'd be my interpretation of Trotskyism. spread the internationalism, open borders are a must. Like, I'd be, North Korean defectors will be welcome to this socialist paradise. No, I'm not talking about North Korea. I'm talking about the People's Republic of America. Like, when they vote, they'd actually have more freedom. Instead of the, where they were from. Like, your vote would count directly towards changing politics. Like, my pa- uh, my con- uh, my- Variant of communism. The pathway to communism would start with a capitalist society. Just like Marxist theory. But instead of going directly to dictatorship of a proletariat, first step, it would go towards social democracy. Then, the dictatorship of the proletariat. Then, democratic socialism. Then, after that, we would go towards achieving true communism. thought when it goes to communism. Like that. That'd be some of the concepts in my interpretation of Trotskyism. Because I still want to keep a democratic state. Because I want to keep it democratic. the revolution, it would start off as a capitalist state. Then, the revolution would strike, like with workers going on strikes, stuff like that. With workers going on strikes, the constitution would limit the power of the rich. While protecting the power of the workers.
in my interpretation of communism, one of the concepts would be I'd have would be animal rights activism, which means no more puppy mills. Putting your cat on a vegan diet is animal abuse. But putting your dog on a vegan diet, if it's done very carefully, you're fine. Put your dog on a vegan diet, as long as you do it carefully. As long as you do it carefully, you're good. But cats, they're not a good choice for pets if you're a vegan. For a vegan household. Because some vegans thought it would be a smart idea to put their cats on a vegan diet. Truth is, that is dangerous. That is really dangerous. In fact, it can actually kill the cat. Cat owners do not want that. If I had a cat, I'd feed them bloody raw meat instead of commercial cat food because commercial cat food is what makes them really sick. With a dog, you may want to consult your veterinarian before you put them on a vegan diet. Because you're potentially hurting the animal if you don't. Do your research on what dogs, the dog's nutritional requirements are before you get a dog as a vegan. If you do put your dog on a vegan diet, you may want to be careful. As by nature, putting your cat on a vegan diet is considered unnatural. The best, you're okay to get a dog if you're a vegan, but if you want to feed them a vegan diet, you must do so very carefully. It must be done very carefully. Like, under supervision from a veterinarian. Nutritionist. PETA leads people to, What I hate about people, uh, I don't know, about PETA is that they lead people to believe that cats can go vegan. The truth is, they can't. They, if you combine obligate with carnivore, that means the animal must eat meat. Preferably raw meat. Instead of... Because raw meat has all the nutrients cats do need. Out in the wild, cats, they kill a lot of animals out in the wild. But they do it out of survival. They don't do it to, because they choose to. They do it because they need it. They, they do it to survive. Plus, there is this documentary on BBC, on British Broadcasting Company, about why cats need meat to survive.
one of the key ingredients that, is, that can only be found either in animal product, meat, or synthesized is taurine. Putting your cat on a vegan diet is unnatural. It is unnatural to put your cat on a vegan diet. Truth is, for the first six months of a newborn's life, you only feed them breast milk. Feeding your cats a vegan diet, it's repugnant, it's abusive, and worst of all, worst yet, it's unnatural. It is unnatural. Same thing with feeding your ferrets a vegan diet. Just can't do it. Because for cats... They must kill to survive. Mm. Either they have to kill or starve, literally. Out in the wild. Literally, they have to kill or starve to death. Ingrid Newkirk leads people to believe that cats can go vegan, but really they can't. They will die. But if you put your dog on a vegan diet, you gotta be really careful when you do so. Put your dog on a vegan diet. You gotta be really careful with that. If it's done carefully, dogs can live longer than average. Because think about the... Anyways, this is it for this video. Share this with your comrades on social media. As always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. And peace out.